So in problem F27, we're asked to resolve each force acting on the post into its X and Y components. So that basically means that we need to represent each force into its rectangular components. So one in the X direction, and the other in the Y, just like that. And on the diagram, we have three different forces, F1, F2, and F3. So starting off with F1 here, we're going to have two different components, the X and the Y. So I'm just making this table for each force. And for F1 here, as you can see on the diagram, it's only acting in the vertical direction, that is in the Y direction. And so the X component is simply going to be zero. And again, since it's only acting in the vertical direction, there is no angle, so that basically means that F1 is already in its Y component. So hence, the Y component is simply going to be the 300 newtons. So as you can tell, the F1 components are pretty straightforward. Now moving on to F2. Now this force on the diagram does deal with an angle, since we're given 45 degrees off of the negative x-axis. And so since we're given this angle, or this specific direction for the force, we're going to need to redraw the force and the direction. And since we're trying to find the x and y components of this force, I am going to draw a triangle, just like so. And this is the 450 newtons, and the 45 degrees between the force and the x-axis. So that is x, and that is y. And this is simply a right triangle. And so first let's try to find the x component. So that is essentially this length x of the triangle. So I will simply write that as F2x. And so knowing the angle and the hypotenuse of this triangle, what can we do to find this length x? We can simply use trigonometry. And so from the drawing, we know that x is adjacent to the angle, 45 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and use cosine in order to find x or F2x. So that is going to be cosine 45 equals the adjacent side, which is F2x, over the hypotenuse, which is 450. So again, this is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent. And so isolating F2x, we multiply the 450 to the other side. So that's going to be 450 times cosine 45. But now we need to be careful with our signs here. Since the direction of F2 is given at an angle towards the negative x direction. And again, forces are vectors. So it is important to account for direction. And here on the diagram, this is our positive x direction. And this is the negative. And for y, this is the positive y direction. And this is the negative. And so here you can clearly see that this force is pointing towards the negative x direction, but towards the positive y direction. And so now what that means is that F2x is really going to be negative 450 cosine of 45 degrees, which is equal to negative 318. And hence, F2x equals negative 318 newtons. And so that is going to be the x component of the force F2. And now finding the y component, we're going to be looking at the y side of the triangle, which is going to be F2y. And now we can see that this side is opposite to the angle. So in this case, we're going to be using sine. So this will be sine 45 equals the opposite side which is F2y over the hypotenuse, which is 450. And solving for F2y, this is going to be F2y equals the 450 times the sine 45. And now again, checking the direction, this is in the positive y direction, so this will essentially stay the same as positive. So that'll be 318. 
and therefore F to Y is positive 318 newtons. So the Y component of F2 is 318 newtons. Oh, and that right there should be newtons. Now moving on to the final force, F3. We're essentially going to do the same steps as we did for F2 by forming a right triangle. And it'll look something like this. But now, as you can see, for this one, we're not given an angle to describe the direction. Instead, we're given a 3, 4, 5 triangle, which is a small slope triangle. So I'm just going to write that triangle into the drawing. And this is our x, this is our y. So now to find the x, since we don't have an angle, we're not going to use Sokotoa for this one. Instead, we're going to use that 3, 4, 5 relation. So the x component, F3x, will equal the 600, which is the hypotenuse. And now since the 3 is in the x direction, that is going to be times 3 over 5. And so these are all essentially proportions. And that is equal to 360. And since the force points in the positive x direction, that's just going to remain positive. So therefore, the x component of F3 is 360 newtons. And now looking for the y component, F3y, that is going to be essentially the same, except we're going to replace the 3 with the 4, which is in the y direction. So that is simply 600 times 4 fifths, which equals 480. And so therefore, the y component of F3 is 480 newtons.